Hey everybody and welcome to The Daily Dose. It is the season of Lent here in the church and uh, this is the time where after Ash Wednesday we find ourselves counting the days until Easter. The time where we acknowledge Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection from the dead that transformed life for all of us. You might hear people talking about the 40 days of Lent and wonder if you are honest, what does that mean? I think for many of us, if you've been in the church for a while, Lent has some confusion around it. You might be thinking, does every Christian need to give something up for Lent? Do I need to find fish fry dinners on Fridays in the area? And even if you do have those traditions or those memories from childhood, you might be asking, why am I doing them now? So this week on The Daily Dose, regardless of what traditions you celebrate now or the ones you grew up with, we invite you to wonder what this time of Lent could mean for all of us. What ways could we as ordinary people with imperfect lives acknowledge and reflect during the season of Lent between the time when we mark ashes on our foreheads, remembering how our lives are finite, and the time when we gather to sing, to shout, He is risen, he is risen indeed. Author Kate Bowler invites us to ask this Do you find yourself more concerned with counting items or knowing what counts? She could be, on the one hand, uh, talking about, be talking about material things. Let's be honest, we live in a consumer minded society. I mean, just think about the idea of targeted ads in our digital world. If I happen to be searching for new shoes online and then I proceed to buy them, even if I love these shoes that I just bought, every single day I will see more ads for different shoes. And over time, I'll think I need to buy new ones even though my other shoes function just fine and still have life in them. I start to think that my life would somehow be better and I would be as happy as, I, as those people I see in those ads, smiling and laughing, as long as I had another pair of shoes. It's not difficult for us to get caught in this cycle of counting things. But now think about her question in relation to your to-do list or your commitments. The number of times you find yourself squeezing one more thing into your calendar. Maybe it's because someone asked you and you aren't sure how to say no. Maybe it's because you feel this overwhelming sense of FOMO, fear of missing out if you don't say yes. Or maybe it's because you worry that your worth is somehow tied up in the number of things you do for your friends, for your work, for the community, for your neighborhood, for your kids or for your partner. Do you find yourself more concerned with counting items or with knowing what counts? In the book of Matthew, Jesus spends a lot of time teaching the crowds and the disciples about what the kingdom of heaven will be like. What are the ideas or the concepts that we don't need to be bound by because that's not the goal in our lives as believers? And at the end of chapter 11, Jesus says this, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to the infants. It's like Jesus is reminding us that no matter how many facts we seek out, how much time we spend collecting information about God, how many verses of scripture we memorize that talk about God, that doesn't influence how much love or courage or confidence that God gives us. Think of the infant who can't do any of those things. Being concerned with counting the ways to connect with God doesn't mean we get closer to God. I'm the mom of a teenager who is in his first year of high school, and he loves school. He's got great friends, he enjoys learning, and we here in Alexandria, we've got this amazing school with tons of opportunities for kids. The catalog that they get when they register is unreal. I think it is truly bigger than my college catalog. And it's been a little challenging for him this year because he's had some moments where he's realized he might have signed up for too many extra things. And I think it's led us to some really good conversations about it, helping him to ask the reason behind his choices to sign up. Is he doing it just to add to his list of accomplishments, yet sacrificing sleep or time just to be a kid? Because that is not what matters. 
maybe there's more to thinking about what counts in our physical, our mental health, and in our relationships than in counting the number of things he were to sign up for. Back in the book of Matthew, Jesus says this, Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is, is light. Remember, your value does not rest in the number of things that you do today. Your status with God isn't measured by something you do or something you don't do. So this Lent, maybe you do truly give something up. You give up counting, focusing instead on the things that count. Thanks so much for watching The Daily Dose. We'd love for you to subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, or maybe you'll share this with someone else who could use this message today. Have a good one.